Hello there, and welcome to another episode of Daily Magic. My name is Slytherin Knight, and I am so happy you could join me. So today's daily quest is one of the longer ones, actually. Cast 30 red or white spells. And I feel like the better one to do this with, you know, some either Boros equipment or Boros counters. I think we're going to do some counters. I think we're, yeah, we're going to do some Boros counters today. Again, deck has not changed. Pretty simple. Not much needs to be changed. Though I feel like it'll probably, this deck will most likely be retired once rotation rolls around. There's a lot, there's a lot in it that is pretty reliant, hold on, that's pretty reliant on, um, older cards. But anyway, so might as well use it while we can. Let's see what you got. Let's let's hope for a good match. <sighs> better. It's better. Yes. I, I hate doing it. Mm, we're gonna get. We're gonna send play with fire. I hate doing it, but it needs to be done. Okay, that could be bad for us. Blue green to click at the moment. That typically means uh Oh, blue green white. Never mind. Still could be bad, but could be in our favor, we don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Not really too keen on it getting a. Uh, uh, yeah. It doesn't need the plus one plus one, but it isn't. It is nice. If it gets it. Let's go ahead and do it. Beef up our double striker. <laughs> that's fair. No, that's fair. Because I was about to potentially make that a 5 5 instead of a 4 4. That's 10 damage right there. That was a quick first match. Not too bad, not too bad. Into our second match, into the next one. That's a trap. <laughs> um, hmm. Oh my god, seriously? One mana? I'm gonna risk it, you know? I don't usually do this, I'm gonna risk it. Let's risk it. I'm gonna hate myself, but... But hey, if we lose, let's just uh, use this match as an example of why you should never keep a hand with one mana. Yeah, that's not good. See what my next card's gonna be. 
Yeah, I'll take the bullet. Yeah, I'll take that. Okay. So mana's good. Be able to send out infantry. Which will be good. Really need some white mana, though. You're gonna borrow time, my... And that's fine. Of course, you get rid of that. say characters and I mean creatures but pretty sure you all know what I mean Really? Might as well, you know. Actually, hmm. No, uh, that's actually unfortunate. I think they're probably gonna, they might beat me here. That's ten damage there. Um, yep, they got me. Well, I mean, I can block you, but won't be able to block. I don't think I'll be able to block enough. Maybe we'll see. If I block it here, it'll only deal three damage, so nine. So here's the thing, if they decide to, okay, as I say, if they decide to only attack, 
with with their infantry, I wasn't going to block. Hmm. Okay. Can't hmm, can't use either of these, so it'll kill me. That's unfortunate. Yeah, I only have one health, so I can't. So they've probably got me here. Yeah. Well, I'll save the game, but... Yeah. Yeah, it's a good game. I could have ended on my own terms, but no reason. Yep. Go on. They hadn't, if they hadn't gotten that operative, the undercover operative card to copy that, but still, not a bad match. All right, next one. Let's keep this moving. Let's keep it going. Crazy D. <laughs> uh, the names that people come up with. I hate now. Oh, really? Okay, this is. We'll work with this. We're going to send both of these. I hate doing it. I hate being at five cards. That is not good. That is really not good. with my draws though. Now as of right now it looks like I might be coming out ahead on this if they just don't seem to have anything they can play. Okay, well there's, a, there's that. Now what is your... I have to discard a card, which I can't. So let's just hit you. Just more creatures. I mean, nothing nothing they decide to block will kill them. I'm gonna prove. I don't really see the point of that. I don't really see the point of that, but okay. My hand is empty. Just going all out. I don't fell into a situation where I'm top decking, so I just can't. Yeah, not much I can do. But. <laughs> Yikes. Oh, that's too bad. Thanks. 
No. No attack. Because it'll just block. Oh, well, that's, unfor that's an unfortunate thing, though. Creature in my grave still. They should have one in theirs, right? No, no. no. Alright, let's see. What do I want to pull in? Alright, let's go ahead and. I can. There's absolutely no reason to just. Yeah, I cannot win. Didn't pull a card. Didn't pull a magic card out of my. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, that match just. Yeah. Not real happy with that one. But that is the risk with this particular deck. Um, there aren't really super powerful creatures. They all they all build up to be more powerful. So if you go up against a black deck like that, yeah, your chances aren't very high. But this this could be a good start right here, actually. One of my better ones. That's really cool. I like that. Haven't seen that. Haven't seen that sleeve yet. Not surprising. Not surprising. That's not good for me. That's just going to get progressively more powerful. Yes, yes. Now I'll be a 2-2 two -two next time. Excuse me. Sure. Welcome, Danny. Sacrificing, okay. <sighs> it's 
let's go ahead and let's go ahead and do this. Um, you. I'll take it homestead. You get that one. You get that one. Both have trampled for this fight. Okay, that's fine. That keeps my life totally pleasant. Huh. I guess not. But usually, like, when they do that and they sacrifice, it causes the one that's attacking not to attack, but cool. There we go. I, I, I'll admit, when this card came out, I was like, oh, crap. I'm not gonna win this. But we got the draws we needed. That was excellent. See, this is the only time when this deck can get like really powerful, is with is with those cards. But anyway, nice. All right, we do have a pack to open. It looks like. Uh, nothing overly new, though. The Serum Core Chimera, I think, is interesting. Maybe. Okay. The Living Cure. This is actually a really cool card. And is your really, from what I can tell, the only real defense against uh, poison counters. The one that I've found it like. Mean, if you would get one or more poison counters, instead you get one poison counter and you can't get additional poison counters this turn. That's nice. Um, if you exile the card, choose another card target creature or artifact when it's put into a graveyard this turn return that card to the battlefield that's not bad and that's an interesting kind of graveyard manipulation like if you if you put a really powerful card in your grave for some reason um you can pull it out using that which is using um her ability which is interesting yeah <laughs> another big like this card <laughs> a really big powerful um high cost uh, creature can't be blocked by creatures with flying that's awesome anyway alrighty then well we've completed our daily had some decent matches some not so decent matches I'd like I'd say but that is just how it goes so if you enjoyed this episode which I sincerely hope you did please feel free to hit that thumbs up button down below and subscribe to the channel if you're new to stay up to date for when I post new content and let me know your thoughts about the episode in the comment section down below but other than that thank you so much for watching i really do appreciate it and i will see you all next time